Welcome back guys to the Chocolate Men Rises. Um, I just thought I'd uh, start off with just by saying Merry Christmas to everyone. I hope, uh, well it's coming to the end now, but I hope everyone's had a great day and spent it with their family and their loved ones and treated those in their lives who they care for and love. I know I, know I have. <laughs> uh, it's been quite an expensive Christmas, but it's been worth it. Um, I'm feeling a lot better than the last episode, as you can see, as you can hear even, I can speak a lot better. <laughs> um, played a few games, currently undefeated in the league, I think in all competitions, actually no, I think I lost one game. Yeah, I lost the last game to Royton and Crocock Albion. Uh, I, don't, I honestly don't know how I lost that game, if I'm honest. Uh, we had a big game against uh, Kingsley Reserves. Uh, 5-4. A um, lot of late goals. 97th minute goal for them. Is the uh, Clapton 3-0. Biochester 1-0. Hollyport 2-0. And then Thetford 1-0. So we've been keeping clean shoes as well, to be fair. It's only the last two games in which we've conceded in. Um, next game we've got Haverhall uh, at home, who are third in the league, um, as you can see. I have brought in a few players as well, actually. Um, just, just remembered. Uh, let's have a look. So we've got Reese Creswell, centre mid, pacey, good first touch, good passing. That's obviously what I've brought him in. Um, he's only played the one game so far. Daniel Emerton, uh, could play down the right. Uh, fairly pacey, decent dribbling, good crossing. Excuse me, good work rate as well and teamwork, which is always good for my winger. Wayne Rowe, another centre back. Obviously, it's, it's a troublesome position for me, unfortunately. Chris Tobin, Cam and oh, attack mid and centre mid. Uh, Andrew Conlon, I think I went through, I think I had him in the, the last episode. Uh, yeah, I did. And Tobin, actually. But yeah, so brought in a couple of players. Uh, I lost Dean Owens as well, unfortunately, but it is what it is. But yeah, so I'm just going to play the Have a Hall game today and then I may play on again a little bit further like I have been doing and then sprinkle games as we go. Uh, but here's the starting 11 for today. We've got Scales, Robbie Williams, Rowe, Turner, Conlon, Freeman. I need to get a left back actually, a proper decent left back. Creswell, Higgs, actually let me just switch those two over. There we go. Uh, Watt, Claridge and Carey. Carey had, scored a hat-trick, got injured. Typical luck, but he's doing well. Four goals in four games, three and two in the league. So hopefully, if we can keep him fit and then keep him with us, because unfortunately that's always the issue at this level. Anything's possible. He's quite clinical in front of goal, generally speaking. Uh, we're going with the V, just the basic V. Um, just trying to possession based really. Try and play through the middle if we can. Just tell them all we have faith. Um, as you can see, goalkeeper's motivated. Hopefully that might make him play a little bit good. But uh, yeah, Conlon, Creswell, Watt. We're getting over this tactic though, to be fair. Um, I just need to get those chemistry, well, not chemistry links, but you know, them player position link things, whatever the bloody hell they're called. I've noticed your team plays so much better when you've got those, which makes sense, I suppose. Ooh, they hit the post. That was, that was an unlucky little shot, to be fair. Man embraced it in a, in a rabbit. Uh, actually, it's the first game, it's just real world football just reminded me. It's the first game since uh, that I've played since Mourinho sacking. And thank the Lord. <laughs> I, 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 I'm i so ecstatic with Solskjaer. Like, I'm, I know it's only been one game and it just... The complete, he's literally the complete opposite of Mourinho. You've got Mourinho with his miserable, dour face. Which, if if you're a player and things aren't going well, you look to the side and you just got that miserable person <laughs> just sulking in the corner. He's just not going to inspire you, is it? And then you look at Sasha, he's just all happy and. Go on, Kerry. Ah, oh, wrong corner. Um, he's just all happy and excited. Well, again, I know it was his first game. Um, it's got the first home game tomorrow against Huddersfield, I think it is. Which, the ov the ovation he's going to get, it's going to be unprecedented. <laughs> but, you know, 
Um, uh, if if we we're gonna replace him with someone a little bit more experienced, as it were, managing in the Premier League and with top fly and with top teams. Obviously, there's a few names being banded around Pochettino and whatnot, but um, I I'd say give Solskjaer a chance if he does well. Oh my God! What was that goalkeeping? And they're all happy talking about something, something that means a lot to me. <laughs> and then but goalkeeper just turns into an absolute shit show of a goalkeeper. Let me have a look. It's part across, is it? I, I don't understand. How 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 do you not save that? I hate this goalkeeper. <laughs> He's so bad. I keep saying I'm, I'm trying to replace him. There's no. There's literally no one. It's so frustrating. There's there's no one. Either meh, like they're no better than scales, or they're slightly better than scales, and they're the most eccentric person since fucking Jens Lehmann. And I've never liked eccentric goalkeepers because they're just simple going on bloody dribbles for some reason. I, I, I don't know why they do it, but but I really need to replace him. He's he's cost me so much because it's just so bad. I need to get angry with these like now. Just like, I do expect a much better second half. I don't know how. Oh, that that's weird. That looked weird. I thought he was a substitute and so I don't know how he's seemed relaxed and motivated when he's not on the pitch. But he's the striker. Yeah. <laughs> Typically, typical FM. First shot, first goal. Does it surprise you? Not even slightly. Not anymore. I've played more than enough FM over the years. But there's a lot of fouls as well. It's interesting. Uh let's bring on a couple of substitutes. So bring on Jack Waddle. Daniel Emerton. Um let's bring on Toman as well actually. If that makes any any difference, uh, let's go to go to a more positive. St oh fuck's sake! Start a play, keeper. I suppose it's better than him trying to catch it and probably failing because I don't think he has hands. Oh, oh. my team are my own worst enemy. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was the wrong way there, Scales, mate. Back the other way, you must have had a chance. Oh well, it was a penalty. I, I I I never expect to save a penalty. It was good. It was low. It was in the corner. Again, undeserved. Though. Two shots on target. Two goals. Sums up my my luck with this team at the moment. Uh, let's take off Freeman and bring on Hitchman as well. Hopefully. I mean, we've scored late goals before, so anything's possible. My team are one that seems to keep chugging on. So, I, I have faith. Again, how the hell are a team that I think are predicted to do very well this season, so losing to them is not necessarily unexpected. Even in our current form, which is decent, to be fair, but it's I think it's that... Early season, oh my god. Hold the ball up, don't run into people. Go on, Kerry. <laughs> yeah, finish your dinner. I was praising you up before the start of the game. <laughs> Bloody hell. He's had two clear-cut chances, so he's just fluffed. Uh, you could say it was a pity. <laughs> uh, yeah, ruining Christmas for me, guys. Come on. Yeah, just don't ruin Christmas. It's been a good Christmas, don't ruin it for me. Bastards. So many free kicks. I don't know. So I've had a conversation with someone, a, a friend who's. Who I was saying that there's a lot of free kicks, and he was saying there's a lot of free kicks scored at this level. I beg to differ on that. Like there is a lot of free kicks scored on this, at this level. That it, what the fuck. That is it's too much. Like they shouldn't be getting that many on target. Well, yeah, yeah, you're coming off. You're doing me nothing. Praise you up. 
Start the game. And yeah. Three clear cut chances and you fuck them all up. Three. Ugh. I mean, because it's a penalty, a free kick, and whatever the hell that first goal was. I don't even know what you want to even call it. But it was fucking shit. <laughs> Just, just, just blow your whistle, Rafa. Can't be asked anymore. <laughs> They've ruined Christmas for me. It looks like they're now trying to play with more creativity. Oh, really? Fuck off, assistant. I'm, I'm angry now. <laughs> just, just blow. Nobody wants to see this crap. Nobody. I don't want to see it. Nobody wants to freaking see it. Thank you. And then we just get very angry. I wonder what my win percentage is actually in videos because I don't think it's very good. It's it's like they get nervous for the cameras or something. But yeah, fuck, have it all. Fuck my goalkeeper. I'm going to look for a new goalkeeper. And by God, I'm gonna have a new one by the next episode. As God is my witness, he might not be better, but he'll be different. But yeah, I apologise for bringing a down on Christmas and. That's where I'm going to leave it today. I hope your Christmases have been merry and brilliant today. And I hope the ending of the Christmas is better than that shit show my team just showed. But yeah, have a good day. And I look forward to bringing you in the next episode. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>